In this lab, we're going to identify Pseudomonas aeruginosa using a combination of the gram stain, cetramide agar, and an oxidase test using a taxo end disc. So basically, after the gram stain is done, we see gram negative bacilli under the microscope. We then streaked the bacterium on cetramide agar. And as we learned in a previous video uh, lecture, this agar is selective for Pseudomonas and also stimulates Pseudomonas to produce its green water soluble pigment. So we can see that the bacterium has grown on the agar. And we see the agar has turned uh, kind of a light green color. If we look at the edge of the plate here, we can see that the pigment has diffused down into the agar, turning the agar green. As we showed you in a previous video, the cetramide agar looks clear. It has no color to it initially. So that shows us that the bacterium is producing a green water-soluble pigment where both the colonies and the agar appear pigmented. And of course, we see around the toxo end disc, uh, the black zone indicating that we have a positive delayed oxidase test. So the combination of the gram-negative bacillus, the green water-soluble pigment that the bacterium is producing, the ability to grow on selective cetramide agar, and the bacterium oxidase positive will allow us to identify this bacterium as Pseudomonas aeruginosa. There are a couple of other tests we could do to help confirm that this is Pseudomonas aeruginosa. One of the other things that cetramide agar does is it stimulates Pseudomonas to produce fluorescent compounds that fluoresce under ultraviolet light. So we could take low energy ultraviolet light and expose the plate to that in a darkened room and we would see the bacteria fluorescing. Another test that's sometimes done for Pseudomonas is aroma. Pseudomonas produces aminoacetophenone, an aromatic compound that smells kind of sweet or fruity. And the way one tests for that, so no one goes snorting Pseudomonas, is we would lift the lid of the plate, put it up near our nose, and then start fanning air towards our nose and look for that sweet smelling kind of fruity aroma. If it's a nice fresh culture, the fruity aroma is pretty obvious. If the, as the plate gets older though, that fruity aroma disappears and it does start smelling rather foul. 